All right, Advent of Code, day four. What is happening? We have a grid, and we want to know how many rows can be accessed by the forklift, which I don't know what that means yet. So let's keep reading a little bit. Uh, fewer than four in the adjacent eight positions. Fine. Uh, About the corners. Fewer than four, less than five, because the one in the middle counts. One six oh four. One six oh four. Uh we remove more roll of paper forty three fine Nine three nine seven, nine three nine seven. Okay. So that's day four. So what's going on here? So first, I'm going to clean this up so we actually print uh, both parts. So. Basically, part one is just to do one iteration, and part two is to do all the iterations while it's changing. So hopefully that works. Uh, it does not. Let's see. Let's just do it that way. One six oh four and nine three nine seven. Okay, so what was going on here? So we're given this grid of rolls where every square is either a dot or a at sign. Uh, and we want to know how many we can remove. And we say we can remove if there's fewer than four uh, rolls adjacent to it. So, okay, we read it, the input as a grid. R is the number of rows, C is the number of columns. Um, and then in part one, we can just kind of focus on this. So for each row, we iterate through the whole grid and count the number of neighbors of each square. So the neighbors are the nine squares, uh, plus or minus one row, plus or minus one column. We're counting the row, the thing itself as a neighbor. Uh, so if the neighbor is still on the grid and the neighbor is a row, then that counts as a neighbor. Um, and so if we are a role, and we have less than five neighbors, we can remove it. The problem says less than four, but I'm counting itself as a neighbor, so that is five. Um, so that counts towards part one. Uh, and then for part one, we just print out that answer. Okay, so now I've like wrapped this in one more loop for part two, so what was part two? Part two basically says, okay, if you can remove it, then do that and keep going. Um, because if you remove one thing, that might let you remove another thing that was next to it. 
Uh, so fine, we just wrap this whole thing in a while loop, and uh, we're going to keep going as long as something changes. Um, so basically, in the first iteration, we don't change anything for part one. And in the second iteration and subsequent iterations, we start counting towards part two. So we count towards part two, and we actually delete the role. Uh, and then if nothing changed, we're done. Otherwise, we keep go, you know, go through another iteration. So keep doing that until everything is done. Uh, and then however many we ultimately remove is the answer to part two. Uh, so it's kind of just brute force. Um, this is like, I don't know, grid problem. So I'm doing my classic grid stuff, which is R is the number of columns, C is the number of rows, the top left is zero, zero. Um, this is a check if something is inside the grid, right? It Because uh, the rows are from zero to R minus one, and the columns are from zero to C minus one. Um, so like RC is, you know, R is row, C is column, RR is some other row, some other column. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. See you tomorrow.